Okay, now the stitching. So for this, first we load the body in and then we load the head in. So first thing we do, we load the body in. Good. Now we take the head, load it in, and here make sure to select add instead of new, otherwise it's going to delete the body. And at the model adjustment, make sure not to merge the bones. Again, don't merge the bones. We will need this to anchor the head. Now we click OK. And now the head is in. And now you see, the bones are not perfectly aligned. This is the original neck. This is the head's neck. This is the original head. This is the turtle head's head bone. So what we, we will need to do is, let's pull up, no, let's just pull up Chrome, pull up our calculator again, and let's select the original head here, that, and let's select Tetel's head, that. So the difference is this much, so we need to move this much for them to match. And let's go back to the original head. That's its um, Z offset. And let's go to Tetel's head. That's Tetel's Z offset. Uh, minus. Wait, is that negative? No, it's not. Okay. So now we can open our transformative view and scroll all the way down to the mother bone of Tetel's model and then go to values and input these two values we calculated by um, Google Calculator make sure the bone selected move now we scroll in and we make sure the head bones, these two head bones are perfectly matched. Now that it is matched, we can file, save model as, and let's just call it merged model. Now, merged in. Now the models should look a lot like the heads should be a lot better aligned. And first thing you do, bones. Merge bones with the same name. Good. Now it's merged. And let's see how the neck merge. So let's leave the body up on um, the neck. Okay, we don't need the body, we just need the neck. And let's pull up. Ah, uh, okay. It's, yes. They merged quite well. There's like there's a gap in here, but it's not terrible. And usually there's hair covering from behind, so you won't see it. So I would say at this point, it would be safe for us to delete the original body carry over from the head. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, the hair is covering it, so we don't see the gap. So that's good. So here's our model. There is a tiny gap between the crown and the head, so let's go ahead and adjust that. Um, where's the crown? Okay, that. So inverse selection, and I'm just gonna go to vertices, so I select that, select. Now I display everything, and I'm just gonna move it down onto the head. Oh, it's in the head, okay. No, that's better. So done. And materials tab's done. Bone tab, we merged it. Uh, morph tab, everything looks good. Display pane, okay. Okay, nothing really too weird. Uh, body body tab, since we already cleaned it up in the two, the two steps before, we don't really need to deal with that. PMX info. Good, everything looks good. And now one last, uh, two last steps I would do before we actually save it. 
is first I will go to add that vertices and select non referenced face. So th this would select any sort of leftover, leftover vertices from the deletion and delete those because if you edit model multiple times without deleting these, you can have a model that's like 100 kilobyte with residue versus making it like 5 megabyte. And when you load it into M MMD, it doesn't even do anything except lag your MMD. So it's good practice to delete those. Second thing I would do is Control A, select everything and go to edit versus and normalize and just let it run. And that would pretty much fix most weight problems you run into. So now that is done. Let's go to info. Um, right, right. It was called Snow Princess Miku. Now obviously we have to change that. Snow Princess title and credits. We'll leave that because um, I'm not publishing this model, so I'm gonna not gonna bother with the comment section. Let's save it. Snow Princess title. And let's pull up MMD. One, Snow Princess Turtle. Physics on. Let me select a random motion to pull in. Let's say, uh, okay. This one looks good. And that's pretty much everything to a basic head swap. If you have any question, feel free to ask. I'll answer what I know. And if I don't know something, well, I'll try to Google at least. <laughs>